Your heart beats about 100,000 times in a day. That's 80 million heartbeats in the average year. This makes it the ultimate athlete. The heart is built for endurance. It can squeeze, but it is also flexible, capable of expanding like a balloon to suck blood into itself. It can do these exercises constantly without ever getting tired. In that way, the heart is like a marathon runner and long distance bike rider. These athletes are slim and strong. They can exercise for hours on end without stopping. Now, compare that to the average bodybuilder. There are two basic ways of exercising. One type of exercise involves low resistance, high repetition exercises that build tone, endurance, and strength. This is the type of exercise bikers and runners do. Another type of exercise is like that of bodybuilders. Low repetition and high weight. This builds big muscles and increases the force of the muscle. Although they are very powerful, big muscles are also less flexible. Just ask any bodybuilder. The heart can also become a bodybuilder if it is exposed to the need to carry heavy weights. As the heart squeezes against the pressure generated by the arteries, we can think of blood pressure as the weight the heart is lifting. If blood pressure is high, this translates to the heart doing heavy bench presses every day. Over time, the muscle of the heart becomes thick, like that of a bodybuilder. But unlike the bodybuilder who is happy with the body he has achieved by lifting heavy weights, the thick heart is not that lucky. Thickening of the heart is a condition known as left ventricular hypertrophy, or LVH for short. LVH is associated with the doubling of the chances of dying from a cardiac event. A thick and inflexible heart can also fail over time, causing a common complication known as heart failure. People who have thick hearts develop arrhythmias like atrial fibrillation much more often. Thickening of the heart can develop over the years without ever producing any symptoms. Because of its significant impacts on health due to dire complications, LVH is one of the things your doctor screens you for in your yearly annual visits. This is easily accomplished with a simple cardiac test called an electrocardiogram. If an electrocardiogram suggests LVH is present, it is usually confirmed with different types of cardiac imaging. Once diagnosed, left ventricular hypertrophy can be managed by treating hypertension. With proper blood pressure control over the years, prognosis is good. Controlling your blood pressure to create the proper environment for your heart allows it to exercise the way it was designed as a lifelong athlete.